All right, what is good you guys? Your boy Ellie is back here with another video. And in today's video, we will be going over three different products that I recently bought off of Amazon. One of them being the cold shoe mount for the GoPro, the shotgun mic, as well as the mic adapter for the GoPro. Now I bought these products for a reason and mostly because I want the mobility of just vlogging anywhere with a GoPro. So this means I can pretty much just plug and play into the GoPro with this specific mic. Now of course with the GoPro alone you definitely need some type of casing for it because the GoPro does not have any type of mount on it. So in that case you do have to buy a bracket or some type of case for the GoPro in order for you to actually plug and play a mic or plug any type of external lighting that you need. Now the first product we're going to be unboxing is a product called Newer Cage Rig for the GoPro. And right off the bat you guys can hear that it does come in nice packaging and I have already opened this as well as the mic adapter because I did test it on yesterday's hike. Alright and the first item you see here will be pretty much the new door or the attachment uh, that you'll be putting onto your GoPro. As you can see there that you have quick access to the Type-C plug. Next two items here we have uh, the actual adapter casing. This is where you're pretty much going to put your mic adapter for your GoPro. And the next item will be an actual mount that you can mount onto the actual case itself. You have the option to plug a mic in here as well as an external lighting. And of course, last but not least, you have your quick release case here. And by quick release, I mean you can just easily latch open the door here and you can just plug in your GoPro into the case. And of course, you have your actual mic adapter here for the GoPro. This is the item where you're going to be plugging it underneath the case with that casing that I showed you guys earlier and this is what the product looks like. There's a 3.5mm port where you're going to be plugging in your external mic. And to set up your new cold shoe mount, all you're going to have to do is of course you're going to have to take off the old GoPro door and replace it with the new one. So I did have some problems with this latch door that it came with. As you can tell right here, it would not lock on top when you lock the bottom part, which was pretty frustrating because this whole time, unless you have your mic actually plugged into the Type-C port, your door will easily fall off of your GoPro. So you might want to be careful with that. Hopefully you get a better product than mine or a better fitted product because this was pretty frustrating that it kept coming off. Now as for the casing itself, this is pretty easy. Just go ahead and latch on the quick release and then plug in your GoPro. You guys can tell there that I did take off the door again because it just kept popping off and it was just getting in the way of me trying to put it into the case. Now sadly, the case actually does not hold this door in. So if this does come off, it will fall off outside the case. If the case, however, at least held that door in, it would stay closed. Now with the mic adapter mount or case, you, all you need to do is slide that in there and you can see that it is pretty durable, it does not come off. And all you need to do is plug in your mic adapter for your GoPro and plug in that Type-C USB into that port. Now you can already see here that the latch again unlatched or the door unlatched and that's pretty annoying. Like I said, there's a sweet spot where you can plug that in and it won't come off. And of course, we're just going to go ahead and put this mount on there just so our mic does not interfere into the front of the lens. And for the shotgun mic, we have the Comica VM1011. And you can see that it comes with the actual shotgun mic itself, the windscreen, dead cat, two 3.5 millimeters, one for smartphone and one for plug and play. And of course, your nice case with it. And right off the bat, my first impressions were, wow, this is a nice case. It'll definitely keep our shotgun mic pretty safe inside this case while we're traveling. And you can see here that it comes with a giant dead cat. And this was actually bigger than I thought, so I wouldn't recommend using that on a GoPro, although on a DSLR or mirrorless camera, so you definitely can, because it does not interfere in front of the lens. And of course, you have your actual shotgun mic itself. You have your bracket that you mount onto your camera, and your two 3.5 millimeter cables, and finally, your windscreen. This is what I used for my hiking vlog, and it does sound really nice, and it blocks out the actual wind noise itself. 
Now, the installation is pretty straightforward. You guys can skip this if you want to, but you pretty much just plug and play this. And of course, we first mount it onto the mount here itself or the cold shoe mount. And then you gotta make sure that you actually tighten it. You can mount it on top or on the side. It's a preference. All right, and what we're gonna do now is take the actual shotgun mic itself and just go ahead and slip it on there. And it is pretty tight, so you don't have to worry about it falling off. And now we're just gonna plug in our regular 3.5 millimeter cable into the shotgun mic itself and into the mic adapter. Now what's nice about this mic is that when you plug and play into the adapter itself, the GoPro automatically knows that you have an external mic. Now you gotta be careful with this because the mount itself where you put the adapter in is actually loose and it's not tight. As you can see right there, I'm able to wiggle it back and forth. Okay you guys, welcome back to my face. As you can see here that we finished our GoPro setup for the vlogging fashion, I would say. Um, it looks very beautiful, it's nice. This will pretty much be showing on the screen itself, which I will show you guys here in a second. And we also have this windscreen, which is gonna work better because I already tested this uh, yesterday when I was on a hike. Also, I just realized I was gonna fly my drone somewhere over in this trail just to get an overview, but I don't see anywhere I can actually fly straight up because there's a lot of branches here. So that worked pretty well. If you guys are interested in seeing that hike video, please check that out. I did use the GoPro the whole time for that vlog, so you can check out the mic quality on that one. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and test out the, uh, the audio on this, and I'm gonna switch the footage from my camera to the GoPro. Okay, now you guys are hearing the shotgun mic alone itself with no dead cat or windscreen indoors. Okay, now we just have the regular windscreen mic test here. Mic test one, two, mic test one, two. Shotgun mic test with dead cat. Now you guys can see here, I think you can see the little fur there or the dead cat itself. If I turn a certain way, sometimes it shows, sometimes it doesn't, you can get lucky, but you know, obviously when the wind's blowing, this will be everywhere. So you do not want that. But this is the mic test with the dead cat. So there you guys have it. That's one way you could actually set up a vlogging camera with just the GoPro. Uh, it's a cheaper way of doing it if you have a GoPro in multi-purpose, right? Uh, obviously you're not gonna get the same quality as you would with like, let's say Sony cameras or DSLRs or in general, uh, but it's very nifty, it's very mobile, right? You just need to make sure you find a really good um, mic and you gotta make sure you do your research on these things too. If you guys like that video, please like, share, save, subscribe, do what you can. Check out my other social medias on TikTok, Instagram. If you guys wanna check out some cool clips here on YouTube, I got some cool shorts as well. Well, but yeah, I will see you guys in the next video.